What's good everyone, it's Mudge here and I'm back again for the fourth video of the day and there will be a fifth coming out shortly after this one because two new bundles have popped up in the store with the uh, mid-season updates. We're going to take a look at the first one which is the Wolf Operator bundle. As always, we're just going to jump into it, give my opinion about whether it's good value for money, if you're getting ripped off, um, general appearance of the guns if there seems to be any visual glitches and as always I'll give a rating out of 5 at the end. If you do enjoy these videos, do make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you want to find your way back. I try to cover pretty much every major bundle um, I can. Uh, I do check the store daily, unless of course I'm not at my setup and I physically can't. So we do try and catch them all. Uh, if that is something you're interested in, you want to get an opinion on someone who spends a lot of time looking at the store and kind of the market value of things, I guess, um, and whether or not COD points are going to the moon or not, then make sure to give it a subscribe. And you know, you'll, you'll be able to find your way back unless YouTube messes up the subscription feed again. That's a story for a different video. Regardless, Wolf Operator Bundle. Of course you unlock Wolf, the new operator. Um, I really like the look of this in the in the trailer and the skin looks pretty cool. I'm never a big fan of like the kind of like the ghillie suit uh, skins. They, they seem to glitch into your vision um, in game which isn't helpful. This is the M16. Again, very in keeping with it. I like that a lot. Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for the, the quick mag, the jungle style mag, um, harks back to the early Black Ops days, so I'm a bit of a sucker for that. Oh good, a new shotgun blueprint. We'd, no one asked for another shotgun blueprint. It's a snazzy looking shotgun, but nobody asked for it. Um, and you don't get a new uh, melee weapon blueprint for the combat knife, which is pretty cool. You do get a new operator uh, finishing move, which of course we will be leaving until the end. As you can see, it does involve a dog, as they are quite easy just to kind of attach new skin to. So they're a fan favorite or developer favorite to put out. New watch, charm, emblem, calling card. If you've seen these before, you know charms, emblems, and calling card don't really provide anything extra to me, in my opinion, unless they are you know incredibly innovative and cool. Let's take a look at this finishing move. I can't because I'm in Warzone and Warzone doesn't give you the option to have a look before you buy so give me two seconds and we'll go over to Cold War. Okay let's try this again now we're in Cold War. Very similar to the Modern Warfare finishing move uh, with the dog, the wolf. Was it a dog or a wolf? I can't remember. Either way, the K9. Uh, nothing to write home about. It's a cool operator move. I guess if you didn't play Modern Warfare you might not have seen it before. Uh, just it feels very similar. Of course it's 2400 because it's an operator bundle and they like to rinse you with these. It's, it's not worth 2400. I know you unlock the new operator and that's supposed to be the big point but I don't think he himself is cool enough to warrant that price. I'm not overall massively impressed with it. Um, the skins on the, the cameras for the guns I, I like a lot. But the rest of it isn't really, isn't my cup of tea. We're, we're going to have to give it a two and a half out of five. I'm not, I'm not impressed is the honest answer. And that is where I'm going to leave today as my PlayStation prepares to take off because I need to clean it. Uh, like I said, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe if you want to find your way back. I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you in the next one in about half an hour. Bye.